Alright, so this is Mystery Dungeon! This one was hilarious. <laughs> like, it's... Is that an episode that's like, oh wow, where the story went and everything? I mean, it, it's brilliant, but just the, uh... The slapstick in it, and, and these characters surprisingly working pretty well off each other, honestly. Uh, it's, um... It's Ice King, Shelby, is that mm -hmm. the uh, uh, Tree Trunks, uh, Lemon Grab, I always forget Nectar. the... Nectar. Nectar, yeah. Uh, Bemo, are, but no. Yes, yeah, not Bemo. <laughs> uh, are all trapped in this room. I, I thought it was going to be sort of like a... Um, five Strangers Looking for an Exit in Search of yeah. an Exit. Was that? Yeah, I, I thought it was going to be like the Twilight Zone episode. Especially because you see in the opening the uh, the hand with the little mm -hmm. puppets on it. Uh, but, uh, but it's not. It's them going through this weird dungeon trying to get through uh, and all these various kooky things that they come across and finally at the end you figure out that the Ice King actually kidnapped them all and knocked them out and he needed them to get through this dungeon because it was this Magi? Is that what you say? Magi. Ma Magi. Uh, who anything, anything you throw in there will come to life and he brings his Fiona and Cake fan fiction, hoping the characters will come to life. He throws the book in, and just the book comes to life with arms and hands, even the little cartoon gloves on. And it and, sounded a lot like Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Oh, guys! Oh, yeah. And they find an exit. Finn and Jake are in it for like a moment. They just see them escape. And then the Ice King closes his eyes and he says, Oh, you can exist in the world of imagination, Fiona and Cake. And. You just see them watching him, and is anyone more is anyone more sad than the Ice King right now? Oh. Me watching this right now. <laughs> yeah, brilliant last line. Uh, oh, yeah. So I mean, it's like it's the, the setup's like kind of funny. It's like okay, whatever, just sort of let's see what happens. We throw these characters together, but it it is pretty funny, and the the characters are good. But it's it's the slapstick. The slapstick in this one is so good. The Rat coming out, you know, Lemon Grab yelling, punching it, and then eating the pie that's inside. Um, the uh, using tree chunks as the bait, and just the way the thing comes up and eats her, and then her cutting her way out. Well, actually, what I love about that part is, of course, it's supposed to be Shelby yeah. as the bait, and he's like, I know what we can do. Oh, and then it's tree trunks, and it's like. Wait a minute! <laughs> but he came up with it still. Oh yeah! So, okay, but that's worked. what I love is that Shelby's like, you know what, yeah, I know exactly what to do. <laughs> Screw that, I ain't doing it though. <laughs> um, and yeah, just the um, the timing of the violence on this one I just thought was so funny. And I think having these, all these characters that in their own way, they think, with the exception of maybe Shelby, uh, in their own way they're all kind of annoying. Yeah. But they're entertainingly annoying. I know you don't like tree trunks. Yeah. Um, and actually, that's one of my favorite damn things in this episode. <laughs> it's where she what? gets eaten. <laughs> no, no, where she's sitting there, blah, 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 I'm old and senile. I'm going to ramble on forever. Hey! And everyone just yeah. stops paying attention to her. Notice, oh. everyone's just kind of like, whatever. And Ice King's right, and he's like, oh, wait, what's she saying? Oh. Oh. But, no, see, I, okay, you know what it is? When, when I was growing up, I used to hate Grandpa Simpson on The uh, Simpsons, and now he's one of my favorite characters because I love hearing the rambling, so I'm almost wondering if I saw this as a kid would I hate Tree Trunks, uh, you know, because I might be like, oh, come on, she's slowing down the action, everything's coming to a halt for her, and, but, yeah, now it's just, she's so bizarre in her own little world, she just cracks me up, and I love how everything does just stop <laughs> whenever she's talking. She's talking so slowly <laughs> about when, and, and the about sentence, nothing. No, and the sentence never seems to end. Just when you yeah. think it ends, it keeps going, and it just, it cracks me up. Um, so, but I, I can easily see how that'd be annoying too, but it, it kills me. Um, oh. so yeah, no, I thought it was, I thought it was really funny. <laughs> Oh you my know? god, the lemon, gra lemon grab, lemon grab, lemon grab. First of all, again, I know we keep saying it all the time, he should be annoying, but he's not. There's just something about lemon grab, that voice, it, the most annoying voice, but the funniest voice. But I have to say, the rat scene is probably my most favorite scene ever. Ever, Whoa. ever, <laughs> in the history of ever. It was funny enough when he just did the whack, because yeah. I didn't expect him to just like whack this rat and like boom, the rat's dead. That was funny enough. He just like, 
I, I can't, he just grabs it and, and he sticks his face and he's eating it and it's just ridiculous and gross and horrible and so good. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know about the rest of the world, but I know there are times where I get so hungry I could probably, <laughs> like, you could punch a rat and eat out of its mouth. I could probably just eat out of a rat's mouth. <laughs> you put a ring on it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> and that's why you should always feed me, always. <laughs> or she will punch you and eat whatever's in your body, apparently, through your mouth. Your mouth. I, I, I just, I can't get over that scene. It's, I, I don't know why. It's just... I think if you explain it, like, you know, it's kind of funny, but seeing it with these characters and yes. with them constantly screaming and things just coming up and none of them are ever quiet about anything they're just <laughs> always screaming they're screaming their own way or they're overreacting their own way and just when that rat comes up for him to scream just punch him while he's still screaming even though we have the mouth i think he's still screaming <laughs> even while he's eating i think he's still screaming and i always think to myself okay this is going to be the episode where i'm finally going to find him annoying <laughs> i'm finally going to be like okay lemon grab is finally worn out as well but it's like damn it he's still so funny there's a part of me that legitimately wants to hate him because <laughs> something just seems <laughs> off balance about the universe that i find this guy so funny but he really is just so it hilarious happen. it's well, just it something about happen. the delivery that it's maybe there's an episode where he's just he overstays but uh not yet i haven't seen it yet he's still <laughs> cracks me up. Well, I love in the beginning when he first wakes up and he starts saying what's on the wall. And he's just like <laughs> twisting his head around and they're like, what are you saying? Words on the wall! They are wall words! Yes! <laughs> like that every good wall words, yeah. Like every, He has his own dialogue. Or not dialogue, his own uh, his own way of saying things. Yeah, like everything. He has his own dialect, I guess you yeah, could say. Yeah. Like every, He has his own wall words. They're yeah. not just words, they're wall words. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. And he's I, so convicted, it has to sound epic when he says the wall words! Yeah. yeah. Um, I loved with Nectar, when they're like crawling and he's like sitting there trying to explain to Ice King that, no, oh, you're my poppy and all that yeah. stuff. Uh, oh, she can make pies. I can make pies too. Is, <laughs> don't you remember, Pop? Oh, look over there! Yeah. I mean, poor little Nectar doesn't, you know, know what's going on. Yes, Cat. Now, Nectar's the only one that I... There's nothing wrong with him, but there is always something I'm like, oh, he's, he's appropriately episode. pathetic. Okay. Yeah, I, I always sort of see I'm like, no, okay. Because like, everyone just, forgets about yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe that is, yeah, like the idea. It's like just he is kind of forgettable, so when he pops up, I'm like, oh, but it's like, he never does anything bad or wrong. There's nothing really wrong no, with him. No. There's just. I'm always like, oh, let me see one of the other characters. Come on. <laughs> uh, don't yeah, forget what the ice uh, lemon grab art did to Ice King. What do you taste like? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, she, and you see Ice King's. It's like lonely. <laughs> I, I like that he zaps off all the hair on him too. Oh yeah. Um, I, I loved when they're running and they come to that part where it leads like a spiral uh, staircase. Going yeah, you think to, they're oh gonna jump God. and all of them fall? Yes. Yeah, just. <laughs> whoop, whoop, that's great. I, I'm a little disturbed. I want to know how the hell Tree Trunks got uh, Lemon Grab's essence all up inside her so that she could <laughs> squeeze it all back inside him. That was, that was scary. This and is... I like Tree Trunks, and that was creepy. Now, this is just one of my favorites because of Shelby. Like, everything going on, Shelby was <laughs> like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? <laughs> Tree Trunks does that, and he's like, oh, God, like... I love Shelby's voice. I have to say, Shelby's voice really, I don't know why, it just makes it so much funnier. And then because Shelby, I, I can't remember if Shelby started off like this, but got progressively more cynical. Yeah. You know, and sort of just bluntly saying what he's saying. Uh, and that last line, you're right. Like, if another <laughs> person said it, it would have been fine, but just hearing that high pitched voice talking is. Yeah. It makes it even funnier, because you want to hear something really cute instead of something, like, just incredibly mean. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, because the first time I remember him popping up with a line, I'm trying to remember if that's the one it is or not. Violin? Viola. J or Jake's Viola. Viola. Um, that's why one of his children is named Viola. When, um... When he's wanting to figure out with Finn and uh, Rainicorn, and Shelby pops up and says they should hang out together. Yeah, yeah. But Shelby's always been kind of like the whole, like, yeah, this is what's going on. Deal with it. Yeah, and I think, but Shelby, am I right, hasn't had, like, 
too much screen time. No, I wanted it, to have a full episode. Yeah, so, so or not, at least oh my half God. an episode. Well, the, this is the closest we have now, and it's like it, he is funny interacting off of these other characters. I mean, like like you said, I mean, it's just yeah. this is how it is, you know. And I don't care how it sounds, you know, sort of attitude. And uh, yeah, I think he would have to be around like pathetic people. I think it's how he would be funny. Like if he's around tree trunks. Well, I was gonna say if, he, if he's around Finn and Jake, I don't think like it could still be funny, but it won't be as funny as if you team him with Ice King or something like that. Yeah. You know, just something where he can directly, you know, say you're an idiot, you're a Yeah. Uh, some shade. No, no, I'm sorry. We we give Lumpy Space Princess and Tree Trunks entire episodes. Why can't we give them to Shelby? That, I'd be fine with that. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. You know, I would be okay with that. So. Yeah, no, I, I thought it was really funny. I thought, uh, just, like I said, the slapstick was great. The teaming of these characters surprisingly worked. I was actually <laughs> thinking to myself, okay, this is either going to be great or I'm going to hate this episode. Yeah. And I really liked it. Uh, and a lot of that is just the character interaction yeah. uh, uh, between them. And uh, I said, really good voice acting with these characters. They're all specifically annoying in their own unique way, <laughs> but somehow don't legitimately annoy you. They're all actually really yeah. funny. So, um, yeah, I, I really liked it. Yeah, I love this episode. On a side note, I wasn't, am I the only one I wasn't thinking of Twilight Zone? The first thought that came to my mind was Cube. Oh, yeah. I think it's Cube. the first thing I thought What, of. the movie Cube? Yeah. yeah, the movie Cube. Oh, that's, yeah, I guess that was sort of the plot. Actually, okay, mm -hmm. one other thing I forgot. I was really hoping this was going to segue into a Fiona and Cake episode. Me too. Maybe it That's does. I, oh. the, if it does, oh. that'd be great, because I, I heard there's at least one more. Maybe and because the Fiona does. cake was really, really fun, and I really want to see if that's the next one. you have to wait till next week? Oh. Or you can stay for one more lousy episode. It's all of like 11 minutes. Because <laughs> I, I ain't waiting a week. Will I stay for one more friggin' episode? Find out if we are in the same clothes. Hmm. Yeah.